Welcome back to State of Tech, this is James here with another iPhone 5S quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use the slow-mo camera. So we're going to open up our camera and then we're going to swipe over to the right twice now we're in slow-mo mode. So if I were to pick the device up, I'll go ahead and do so. You see now my device I can go ahead and tap to focus. You see I'm shooting in 120 frames per second and I can turn my flash on I'm also seeing a duration counter. Now if I were to go ahead and start recording there's not really anything to do slow-mo here with, but um, what it automatically does is it takes the video, and we're going to take video normally, and then it tries to determine its best what it wants to put into slow-mo. So I actually have a couple slow-mo videos here on my device that I'm going to show you how to work with. So here we have a slow-mo video. Here I am at a birthday party with one of those little air things, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to play the video. You see how it kind of comes out in slow-mo, and it's going to also curl back in slow-mo. And the way that it did that, it was the actual phone itself determined what areas to put in slow-mo. But now if I tap on it, you see these sliders here in this menu. You see I have uh, close-up dots here and then spread out dots right here, letting me know that this section is going to be in slow-mo. But if I wanted to change the area, I'll just tap on one of the sliders here, and you see I can go ahead and drag the position anywhere in the video. So if I felt like I wanted slow-mo to start off a little bit later, I'll go ahead and drag it out. Find the selection you see as I'm trying to find actually when it actually pops out. So about right there. Now you see my slow-mo selection has been repositioned in a different area. And now if I press play, you see it puts the slow-mo in a different area of the video. And that's going to work here with any slow-mo video I take on the iPhone 5S. I can even have this one here. You see I have different sliders here that I, for this video than I do for this video. The iPhone is going to try its best to find specific areas to do slow-mo in. Now there are, right now, social services don't really support sharing in slow-mo, but if you were to airdrop this or message it to another device, they're still going to get that video in slow-mo. It's not going to erase the slow motion off the device if you were to share it with another iMessage or share it via AirDrop. The slow motion will stay on this even if it's an iPhone 5 or 5C or on an iPad. So the slow motion recording only is going to happen on the 5S, but you can watch and play back other slow motion videos on other devices if you'd like to. And that is how you're going to use the slow-mo video mode on the iPhone 5S.